Hey, what's good everybody? Bring you another video. This time is of the Mythic Legions Night Builder 2 Deluxe. So, let's get started. Everyone knows I've had the fever for Mythic Legions. As of late, I've been having a damn good time. I actually bought these a while ago and was waiting to get a fourth and fifth one, but they've actually gotten lost in the mail. So I'm just gonna do these three. And the reason why is because I like to build squads. Being that it's a Night Builder, it's kind of meant for it to be army built. So that's kind of the cool thing about it. And having this one actually gives you a ton, a ton, a ton of possibilities that I didn't think having three would fit. So yeah, but we're gonna work around it and we're gonna make it work. So let's get started, right? First off, I'm gonna just choose the middle one because we're gonna talk about the bare bones version and then what those ones are equipped with in a second. Um, obviously, I really like the 2.0 bodies. Um, I think they work better for the female bodies as well as the males. But for some reason, the 2.0 women's bodies are just better built. And I'm not talking about proportion. I mean, just the, the way they look, the way they feel, the way they operate. They give you more mobility and range, and that's kind of what I aim for. And the one thing I like about Four Horsemen is that they don't sacrifice their sculpt in too many ways. While they made moves to make sure that this stuff can still be articulated very well, as especially on 2.0 bodies, uh, they don't sacrifice sculpt, which is really dope. So without further ado, let's jump into the look and articulation, right? So here we have the bare bones one, the 2.0 body. I chose this head because uh, this is actually my least favorite head but it actually serves for really good function when she's armored up, at least in my opinion. So yeah, we just have her, the cool look, the laid out armor. I really like the color scheme of this. It just really works for what's going on. It pops so very much. And my lights are falling. It might be time to get new lights, which kind of sucks for me, but yeah. And as we can see here, the blues and the grays just really work. And those sets of browns underneath, like the chainmail armor parts, really enjoy how these look. And again, even with different looks, as you can see, you can be different enough all while keeping the same color scheme. And I really enjoy that. Now, in terms of articulation, what we get on this helmet, we actually can still move up very far. We can still tilt side to side. We can look down. We actually have a great range of mobility still with this helmet. Our arms on this version of the armor, we can actually go all the way across. As we know, there is no real bicep swivel. It just rotates all the way through in the arm. And these are single jointed. So again, you know, it sucks, but because there's a lot more space in between in the front part, these guys can actually hold their weapons with two hands. So that's one trade-off you get from the 1.0 body that you very much get in a 2.0 body that I really, really like. We still have our gauntlet swivel and we have a horizontal hinge on the wrist. Now, speaking of the upper torso, we get uh, mobility going backwards. We get mobility going forwards and we can tilt side to side. We actually have a lower swivel for left and right. Does not go forward and backwards at that lower half. Kind of just pops in and you have to make sure you don't rub too far on your armor parts. Now, as far as our leg articulation goes, you can go all the way outward. So that means you can definitely do some kicks. We have our thigh swivel on the armor. I know it's kind of hidden pretty well because it actually links up with that part of the armor. We have a single joint going backwards. We have a forward and backward tilt. And we have our Hasbro-like ankle pivot that goes really far. All these are very great factors on this. Oop, caught you. And that's one thing I'm gonna get into too. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the only drawback I can really see for the 2.0 is that the way that it's made is that long-term the ankles get really loose, which means you may suffrage from falling. So if you know the lemon pledge technique, I forgot who originally did that video, but that video has tons of hits now. If I can find it and put it in the description, I will. I highly advise long term you look into the Lemon Pledge technique, but overall, I think you'll really still enjoy these guys. Now, in terms of accessories, we're going to jump into that right now. Now, in terms of accessories, you actually get a ton, ton, ton of stuff that uh, is going to take me a while. So I'm trying to learn to break up segments, make it a little easier for both me and you guys, just in case you need to take a break or anything like that. So I want to go over the weapons and accessories that allow you to change in the different characters. And this is kind of where these two come along. So you can see how these guys kind of look already with some different stuff added. You'll get different sets of shoulder pads, different heads, even a different chest and uh, waist piece on all three so you could try new things. Now, I know you see these guys, they look nice. So we're gonna go over the fact that we have two other helmets. I really like this one. This is my favorite helmet. This is a recolor of what you see on the uh, Steel and the Iron Knight. Now here on the Deluxe Knight. Has a little bit more paint apps of yellow in there, but overall it's a paint scheme to match this one. And this helmet, I just really enjoy it because uh, it reminds me of Cassia, my favorite female warrior here so far from this line, 
which the night builder is coming up a heavy second but uh if i put all three of these ladies together what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go over the accessories because you actually get a little bit more so with that being said you'll get a halberd which is a long spear with an axe like motif and spear point really like this you'll get a normal spear this one's painted a little different it has that rust and dirt on it mud a little bit you'll actually get a mace which i think is awesome because you can club the hell out of somebody and you'll get two versions of this mace you'll get this version which i believe is called a spike mace and then you'll get the normal mace so you get two options for that next up you'll actually get a axe again with mud and dirt just to match your spear as well you can turn this into a double-sided axe i'm gonna lay it all down too then you'll get two versions of a shield so you'll actually get a round shield with a silver handle and you'll get a more traditional knight like shield with a gold handle to match its shield next up we're going to get our larger broadsword again has dirt and stuff a little black wash painting this one has a bronze like handle and you'll get a black short sword then you'll get adapters so you'll get the 1.0 and the 2.0 adapter sorry you'll get an adapter for wider ports because this is still built for the 2.0 bodies i should i make sure i gotta remember that i learned that from source horseman i don't want to mess that up and then you'll get the smaller port adapter for wings like let's say you want to transfer over uh Gothopoli gothropolis wings so yeah you'll also get a short dagger this even also has a little bit of dirt on it and then you actually get another head where'd it go oh no actually i covered it all <laughs> so i actually had them here as well too but the cool thing about this head is you can actually take the spike out and they give you a plume so again there are more designs that you can choose from than you'll actually have bodies for so if you actually have spare body parts and you want to make customs out of a lot of this you pretty much can because like i said they give you a spare torso and a spare wrap piece so if you want to swap your body around this also comes with an extra neck peg too so it's pretty cool if you're looking for fodder parts you'll get two types of shoulders so you'll get this design which has a nice blue design which goes on this one and then you'll have your stock metal dirt ones which actually go on this one that i put on this version you'll actually get a bandolier and you get this last helmet. So this is the last helmet. This is the fourth helmet, I should say. So you actually get four different types of heads, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think that is a ton of stuff to come with for these figures. And it's actually really dope because again, buying multiples of these means you can make multiple different characters. You can come up with different designs. As you can see here, you get one, two, three versions of the waist part. There are lots of different combinations that you can go with and try. Now, I'm going to clean up my desk, and then we're going to talk about size comparison. So let's jump into that. Now, we're going to talk about our size comparisons. I'm going to compare, first and foremost, to other Mythic Legions first, and then other stuff that can be Mythic compatible, or just do whatever you want. Maybe you want a, a current night in the modern times, like during the Tom King run of Batman, where he went to that alternate universe, and him and Wonder Woman fought there for almost a year together. You can do tons of cool stuff like that. It's really on you to have fun. You can even make a Wonder Woman custom out of this, as an armored Wonder Woman. Have fun, guys. But yeah, let's jump into those size comparisons. First things first, you can compare it to the 1.0 Knights. So I'm going to do that right now. Here they are next to the 1.0 Knights. And as you can see, they are smaller and slimmer, but still pretty cool. Next up, we have a dwarf that we're going to compare to. And then we're going to choose a goblin. So you can see if we're going in size order, <laughs> the 2.0 body kind of fits right in between even though they're smaller they're still bigger than dwarves and still bigger than goblins but obviously still going to be smaller than orcs and everything else on the 1.0 body and just in case you didn't want to see a knight i also just recently got Celtus from my main man kj i appreciate you you helped me find this so here we are with a necromancer sorry he wouldn't be a necromancer he's a magician or a spellcaster all right so we have these guys so let's move these guys out of the way and then we're going to jump into some other stuff like mythic, more mythic stuff and mythic compatible. Because then we have stuff like Archimedes, which is a giant ogre. 
he barely fits on it but obviously he looks pretty cool then we have marvel legends hercules which definitely fits in this mythos very very much and then you can do NECA Predator stuff. And the Predator will be just about as big as Artemides, but he fits a little better in terms of fitting in my framing. So we actually have a bunch of cool options here. Next up, I'm gonna do it against another 2.0 body so you can see the difference between just the male chest and the woman's chest. So here's my custom elf. Let's get him standing up pretty cool. And as you can see, just a slight different change in chest difference actually makes a cool difference with this, even though they're the same size and same sculpt, just looks pretty cool having a different color and a different sculpt. Makes a world of difference. For those guys that custom, I know you guys do a lot of work and subtle things go a long way. Next up, we're gonna create a non-Mythos stuff. So then we have stuff like a Lightning Collection Blue Ranger. We have a SH Fig Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. And then we have a 1000 Toys Synthetic Carb. So we have options and it's a pretty good size. Next up, we are gonna do, oh, you know what? Let's do Dante from Devil May Cry. In case you wanna do a Dark Knight or Evil Knight versus Dante. And then we do Hellboy, cause these guys definitely can fit in this mythos, right? Last but not least, we're going to do a Mezco Me. Because you never know what I'll fight. I'll just have fun with it. And then we have an Articulated Icons Ninja. Come on, Ninja, stand for me. There you go. Now, as you can see, I'm a little bit bigger than the Knight, but not crazy bigger. So it definitely works well. Ninjas are a little bit smaller. So you're going to have to fidget that one for action shots. Also, one more thing I want to add. If you have other female bodies, especially specific characters, obviously you can do head swaps. So let's see if I can just pop this head off very quickly. I probably won't be able to because that head is really in there. Yeah, but <laughs> let's actually see about the other ones. I want to try something very, very quickly so I can show you guys just how cool this can be. Is that when you have this stuff, you can actually do really quick head swaps. So then I have a Gadriel and the Gadriel head looks really good on this body the neck sits a little high but obviously that can work itself out by adding just some parts so yeah this is the kind of fun that i really really enjoy with the line it's mixing and matching and having fun i can't customize and save my life but i kit bash like no tomorrow so this line has been definitely a ton of fun and very favorable for me and hopefully it can be for somebody else someday so hopefully i'm providing you with enough information to help you make a healthy choice in the meantime, guys, I very much hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it very informative. And as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.